Welcome back, friends, to another episode of Smooth Magic. Smooth Magic is your home on YouTube for all the chillest and most relaxing boosting bo booster box openings. We are coming down to the end-ish of our VIP case openings. We've only got a couple of these left here. And uh, I'll be very, very sad to see them go. But as always, you know that there's if there's one thing that's true about magic, it's that there will be more products coming. We've got Zendikar Rising. No doubt there'll be some sort of summer set. So lots of lots of stuff. Not summer set. <laughs> Boy, what what a season is it? I'll tell you the lockdown has really confused my sense of time. I know what I meant was a uh, December set. Set these down here just a moment. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get started in here. So we had some fantastic pulls on our last video. We got a Force of Will, our car, and so we're now just on the hunt for Jace. You know, a um, doubling season as well. We haven't seen that, but, you know, not really in the market for one of those at this moment. And Jace would be just fine. We got our time seed here for rare number one of Phyrexian Metamorph. A fatal push. Cool artwork. Um, a little disappointed that it was basically an upshift shifted common, just like the expedition map here. And the exploration for the box topper number two. So starting off, uh, you know, still kind of stretching our legs and <laughs> waking up here on these packs here. So let's uh, go into box number two and see. Oh, look at the glue on this one. That is a heavily, heavily glued pack. So yeah, still trying to wake up here and get uh, get something started. Hopefully this pack number two fully wakes us up, dumps some cold water on our head. And... All right, here we go. Let's see. Readjust these slightly to keep them on frame. There we are. The welding jar. I haven't got a lot of those, strange enough. Yabulet. I have seen a lot of those, and those are great. I love pulling those. Alright, coming up on our first rare and a well of ideas. The first, uh, Rare and then a progenitor mimic for number two. Got a brainstorm for a first foil showcase and going into the mythic slot, a dark confident. So we did get a mythic. Now some of these I still haven't researched all that well. I'm not sure what the the value there of that dark confident is. If it's something that's uh, to be excited. But it is a mythic nonetheless, so I will say we are now fully warmed up, and now it's time to bring it on home for the close. Let's see some, some big pulls here for the, the final two. Little Smith here for that uncommon. The sphinxes here are really cool. Most of the artwork here and the foiling really makes them pop a little bit. Still really disappointed on this flicker wisp, but they didn't foil the, the eyes here. That would have been a, an amazing look. All right, Magnus of Will. Maelstrom Pulse for rare number two. And hers is mine. And a Blood Moon. Oof. Okay, again, pack's a little weak here. 
one mythic. So we're looking for one more mythic just to kind of round things out. Folks, this is the last pack, and I want to thank everyone so much for joining us today here on Smooth Magic. I hope you stop in again and say hey. And that you have been enjoying your time with us in the Doubles Masters of videos here. Opter Foundry. I'm going to say this every time it comes up, but I love the artwork. It's so cool. It's like an alien spaceship. All right. Pentad Prism. Love these. They have the, the chromatic orb, I believe, as well. It looks really cool. Just that rainbow foiling look there. The Rugged Prairie. We have not got a lot of these. We usually get the red and blue one. Don't remember cascading something or another. Noble Hire, that's a pretty solid pull. Got the Urza's Power Plant and a Psychonic Lit Rift. Yeah, unfortunate. Unfortunate, kind of a weak box here, but it has been a lot of fun being with you here today. Only one mythic. So like always, we want to wish you all here on Smooth Magic to have a smooth day.